In this video, you are going to learn how to use Xamarin Forms shell to quickly build the tabbed page and to style different tabs differently. So let's get started. At the moment, I have the transactions view, which shows all transactions. What I would like to do is to provide the tabbed page instead and have three, three tabs. First tab is for all transactions. Second tab is only for the deposited transactions. And the third tab is for withdrawn transactions. Let's see how to build this. I'm going to use the flyout item to define the tabbed page. So first I want to have a tab for all transactions and I'm going to define a new tab using the tab XAML class. So tab can have icon and this is going to have all tab that PNG icon and for title I'm going to write all transactions. One slight change is that this shell content now goes within the tab markup. So when I click on the tab all transactions, I want to show the transactions view. I don't need this title anymore since I'm going to provide the, since I provided the all transactions title in the tab and let's add one more tab to this flyout item icon is going to be the deposited tab title deposited and the actual view goes to the shell content we are going to provide the data template this is going to be deposited transactions view so if i run the app now we should see two tabs one for all transactions and another for deposited transactions so if I open the flyout, now we can see both all transactions and deposited transactions menu options. So this is because we have defined the for this flyout item that we want to have this as multiple items, meaning that we want to display all menu sub items. If we want to change this to only have a single menu entry then we can do that by having the flyout display options as single item and just we need to change the title let's say to the transactions and now we can see we only have one item if we click on the transactions we now see we have two tabs one is for all transactions and another one is only for the deposited transactions. And lastly, I can add a third tab. And now if we see the transactions again, we can see that we have the third tab here. One last thing I want to show you is how to style the tabs. So each tab has different background color and they change once we click on the tab items. This is done by using styles. 
so in the shell I'm going to define some resources I'm going to define uh, some styles so the first style is going to be named base style and it's going to be applied to the target type of the element so I have defined some properties so I have defined the background color the foreground color title color and unselected color for our element so this style is going to be applied to the all transactions tab and what I would like to have differently from this style is the background color for my deposited and withdrawn tabs so I need to define two new styles first style I'm going to name it deposited shell target type is element as well and this style is based on the based on the base style and the only change I'm going to make is to the shell that background color this is going to have a different value and same thing for the withdrawn tab and the last step is to apply it those those styles so this has base style this has deposited shell style and the third one has with round shell style so let's reload the app using the hot reload and if we navigate to the transactions we can see that all transaction it has the blue background deposited has green background and withdrawn has red background that's all for this video thanks a lot for watching if you have any question please leave it in the comments below also you can find the full source code of this app in the description of this video and if you like to be notified of future videos then you can use the link in the description to subscribe also this app is part of the course I'm currently working on and if you want to be notified when the course which explains you how to combine shell and MVVM to rapidly build the the app such as this then you can use the same link to subscribe Thanks again and I see you soon.